here in America like to think we own the monster truck segment, but apparently we're not alone. So what's gonna happen is the brand new Ford Bronco Raptor is gonna race the Jeep Wrangler 392 to see who earns the right to defend America against the foreigners. truck guy, and I gotta say, America's got two winners in this race. But really, only one of those winners can win the race, and it's gonna be the Wrangler. The Wrangler 392 has a 391 cubic inch V8, and it makes 470 horsepower. Not to oversimplify things, but 470 horsepower apparently beats 418. The Raptor was 80 yards back when the 392 crossed the line, but by the way, that is not a slow truck. Its three liter twin turbo V6 makes enough power to catapult that thing to 60 in just 5.9 seconds. Not bad for a 5,700 pound barn door. By the way, in the real world, you put that thing up against something like a Lamborghini Countach, my money's on the Raptor. Even though the 392 would leave them both for dead. Which means, of course, the Jeep now gets to go against two of the other most legendary names in truckdom. It's V8 versus V8 versus V8. One naturally aspirated, one supercharged, and one twin turbocharged. is a replacement for displacement, as you know, and it's turbochargers. And so you have to work against the G63's turbo lag off the line. But if you get it right, that thing flings itself to 60 miles an hour in just 3.9 seconds. It damn near does a wheelie off the line. It's unbelievable. The 392 is right behind it. Thanks to deliciously, delightfully short gears, that thing rips off a zero to 60 just a tenth slower than the Mercedes with no turbo lag to deal with. Unfortunately, even though the Mercedes is a quarter ton heavier, well, it's 107 extra turbocharged horsepower kick in and it pulls a 61 foot advantage on the Jeep by the time it gets to the line. That's four tenths of a second traveling six miles an hour more quickly. But the really interesting thing is that Land Rover Defender 90 V8 because it got off the line really slowly. It was a half a second slower to 60 than the other two trucks. And that's surprising because it makes 48 horsepower more than the Jeep and weighs within 75 pounds. It got off the line slowly because of longer gearing, but then it starts to catch up. And that thing, once it's moving, it is coming for you. It has enough power that not only did it catch up to the Jeep, but it would have passed it right past that start finish line. It was going five miles an hour more quickly than the Jeep was when it crossed the line. 
which means if this wasn't 1,320 feet and was instead 1,322 feet, well, the Rover would beat the Jeep. The insane AMG eked out a victory here, but if we'd started this race at 60 miles an hour, the Rover would have walked the AMG, and both of those monsters will keep going to an out-trucking rageous 150 miles an hour. Though it needs to be said, if you're gonna go those speeds, perhaps there is a different type of car better suited to that. <laughs> popping 577 horsepower Mercedes Geländewagen leaves the similarly German, also not built in Germany, four-wheel drive 493 horsepower Lamborghini Gallardo off the line like the Lambo isn't even trying. And although the magnificent noises of that screaming V10 win the sound competition for the day, the Lamborghini just barely is able to catch the AMG by the end of the quarter mile. And that, my friends, is just how fast the Mercedes G-Wagon is. And by extension, the Jeep Wrangler 392 and the Land Rover Defender D90 V8, because they were effectively right behind it. Well, the Braptor, hmm. Put it this way, if this race had happened off-road, we would have a clear winner, especially because the drivers of all the other cars would be killed instantly trying to keep up with this thing. Many cars are fast, but nothing does what a Raptor does. Just wait until you see what I do to this thing next.